What's up and welcome to my point of view. I am your fat and opinionated host and it is no secret that Bud Light has been having a really, really tough time lately, which is, you know, their own fault because they caused all of this. But their employees have been having a tough time too. For one, a lot of them don't know about the future of their employment. When you have a company whose sales are down almost 27%, when you have a company that's already firing people, has lost billions of dollars within the span of the last couple of weeks, of course, you're going to be uncertain about the future of your job. Now, mind you, most of the people that work at Bud Light, I would think, had nothing to do with this Dylan Mulvaney ad. So they are caught in the crossfires. But you want to know what Bud Light has done for them? Bud Light as a company realizes that it messed up, okay? It realizes that it messed up. And Bud Light also realizes that it has put everyone at their company in a very hard position. So what has Bud Light done to apologize for all of this? Well, they actually have taken a few steps to their credit, but what they have done is hilarious. It's laughable. <laughs> Okay, all of the employees of Bud Light who are worried about their future, Bud Light decided to give every employee that it screwed over, because make no mistake about it, not only did Bud Light screw over the customers, it screwed over a lot of their employees. Bud Light decided it would be a good idea to issue an apology to some of its employees and they gave their employees, I kid you not, all a free case of Bud Light. <laughs> I'm not, I, listen, I don't have nothing against, you know, just the regular Tom, Dick, and Jane workers of Bud Light. My problem is with the business overall and the people calling the shots. But this is hilarious. Imagine Bud Light sitting down with its employees like, listen, we're sorry. We know we messed up. We did this ad campaign. We're not even sure if you're still going to have a job in six months. Hell, we don't even know if we're going to be a company in the next couple of years. But rest assured, everything will be okay. Here is a free case of Bud Light. <laughs> it's like no one wants to drink Bud Light anyway. And this is the only way they can get people to drink Bud Light. They have so much extra Bud Light right now, a surplus of it. So they think that they can just give away free cases of Bud Light and all of this is going to go away. So yes, the employees of Bud Light were given a case of Bud Light and they were told sorry this week for all of the mess that the CEO and the marketing team caused in their lives. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do with that case of Bud Light. Hopefully they don't drink it. But imagine that being like the peace offering, like, hey, sorry, Here's the beer that everyone is boycotting. Please drink some. No one else is. Literally no one else is. And speaking of no one else drinking beer or drinking Bud Light, we are seeing videos from all around the country. Grocery stores. I mean, beer sections basically wiped out with tons and tons of Bud Light to the point that they're having to stack Bud Light in random places in the store because they can't fit it all in the freezer section because it's not selling. And they're even getting more shipments because Bud Light convinced distributors and um, wholesalers that all of this boycott was going to go away. So they bought the same amount of beer that they would usually buy and no one's buying it. So this is devastating. It's embarrassing. And it's funny for everyone who travels to their local grocery store only to see Bud Light stacked to the ceiling and Coors Light and other beers sold out. I kid you not, some grocery store chains are even offering 50% off Bud Light. They're damn near giving it away at Costco. It's hilarious to see. It's hilarious to see how effective this boycott has been. It's funny to see how far this has raged on. And I look forward to the future of this boycott because it's nowhere near over. And I think that we have a lot of laughs left to extract from this situation that Bud Light put itself in. But with all of that being said, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. How would you feel if you were 
a employee of Bud Light and they handed you a free case of Bud Light and they're like, sorry that we almost, you know, probably ruined your future. But hey, here's all my 24 pack. Have fun. Let me know your thoughts about that down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell. And as always, remember to remain opinionated.